Well, everyone, believe it or not, iOS 16.6 has just officially came out in a beta format, which is very interesting. So let's take a look at it. Now, I did install it on the iPhone 11. It's the only iPhone that I kind of had laying around, so it was my best option. Now, this update came out the day after iOS 16.5 officially came out. So this makes sense every time usually Apple gives it themselves a leeway of installing 16 or the next official beta, pretty much the day after. Now you can see right here, 16.6 developer beta. This one was 4.99 gigabytes coming from iOS 16.5. So I was already coming from iOS 16.5 and this is already a really, really big update. However, do keep in mind that every single beta that comes out, you basically have to reinstall the whole entire version of iOS. So it's not really because like this is not that big of a size update because of the amount of features it's inside it's mostly just because they have to kind of reinstall everything because it is a beta so the first thing to keep in mind right here it says this beta version of ios 16.6 contains bug fixes and improvements now that is nothing out of the ordinary we've seen this time and time again from apple totally makes sense and personally for me i think that's a cool thing anytime apple brings in these many like i guess like bug fixes and changes it's really, really exciting for me, but the big thing to keep in mind is that this is probably going to be the last version of iOS that we're getting on iOS 16 in terms of like a X.X update. And what I mean by that is if you take a look at iOS 16.6, the placeholder numbers are 16 and 6, so X.X. We take a look at another number. I don't know why I have these photos here, but if we take a look at another number like 16.4.1 or whatever it is, like those are placeholder like 15.4.1 back in the day. X point X point X updates, those are much smaller. So X point X updates are very, very large. And the fact that we're getting this already by the time this officially comes out, I'm going to assume that it's probably going to be around the same time that 17 is in a beta. It's probably going to be after the beta. I've heard some remarks that potentially 16.6 could come out before WWDC. I don't think that's the case. I think we are probably going to be getting this possibly after WWDC. Maybe I could be wrong, but actually we're still a couple weeks away. Now from everything installing so far, nothing has changed. I don't think there's going to be massive changes within this first beta. And if we are going to see them, we're going to see them as the days progress. It's way too early for me now to kind of tell you what's different or what's crazy with it. But I will tell you, this is coming off the heels of 16.5, and what I'm really, really happy about is that within 16.5, it was supposed to be a big, massive update because it did fix a lot of issues. Now, because 16.6 came out, this is going to allow Apple to test out a few more things, refine iOS 16 as much as possible, because once iOS 17 comes out, and that's going to be basically Apple's main focus. And if Apple can push out a little bit more of a secure, more stable version of iOS 16, I think we're going to be in really, really good hands. So in terms of that, that kind of covers up this update. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.